I've gathered you for a mission of utmost importance, so vital that the future of the Academy relies on nothing short of absolute success. I hope it's Archean robots. I hate those things. Nah. Throw elves. Robots. Throw elves. Robots. Elves. Robots. Elves. elves. Sheep! Well, I hope it's chaos. I still have frost in my ears from when he tried to freeze us. No, Skylanders. This time your foe is different, but no less formidable. It is the basement pipes. They are being attacked by a vicious clog of beard hair. Not mine. Uh, we're unclogging pipes? Yes, before they explode, and the basement is fraught with minor flooding, resulting in a dastardly plumbing bill. What are you waiting for? Hurry, Skylanders! You heard the man. Up on your feet, people. We've got plumbing to do. Hmm, plumbing. Is that right? I know there's a bee in there. Anyway, go, go, go! What's the matter, Spyro? Are you too good to clean some pipes? What? No, I'm not too good to clean. It's just it's just that after battling chaos and all the other threats that threaten the Skylands, this kind of mission seems a little basic. Well, being a Skylander doesn't just mean fighting bad guys every second of every day. We provide many essential services to Skylands, great and small, and sometimes that means money-saving plumbing missions. That still sounds weird. Because yeah, it's a soft B, Jetpack. It's pl plumbing. You don't say the you don't say the B. It's it's not a crumb, it's a crumb. And it's fine, I get your point. You better get it, because it's high time you learn to do things the Skylander way. So, is this the Skylander way? Huh? Also, did you have a mouse for breakfast? Do you have any idea how pungent those things are? They, they, they smell worse on the way out, by the way. Move! All together now. Okay, what we have here is a Category 8 clog. Haven't seen one of these since the great back hair crisis of Ort 6. If this thing blows, all the Academy's plumbing will be disabled for hours. Maybe even a whole day. No! Not a whole day! I know, Pop. It's the stuff of nightmares. Now, we need a meticulous approach, team. A foolproof plan of attack. Oh, awesome. So what is it, Jetvac? I'll tell you. As soon as I think of it. Uh, JP, all due respect, but I, I don't think we have much time to think this through. As opposed to what? Acting first, then letting the chips fall where they may? Uh-uh. Skylanders do not fly off all willy-nilly, and neither will you. You do things the right way now. The Skylander way. But that pipe is about to unleash a knee-high nightmare for anyone who can't fly. That's all of you, so we need to act fast. We'll act fast when I have a proper plan in place. Which I'd have already if you weren't interrupting me. Guys, this is about to get ugly. Oh, you ain't kidding. That pipe's ready to blow. I can make some sort of potion that would dissolve the clog. There's no time. One of us, with fire breath, ideally, should fly to the end of the pipe, open it, blast fire in, and incinerate the clog. Right, I should do it. So if I suction one end of the pipe... How do you think Spyro's doing? You shall not pass! Elf could then insert her swords, the tips of which were soaked with the disappearing potion made by Pop. Inconvenience and then... averted. The clog worked itself out. That would have been a good plan. Actually, I took care of it, Jetpack. Nothing a ball of fire couldn't handle. You acted alone? I told you we needed a plan. We did. My plan. This is the one I thought of while you were considering your plans, which I'm sure would have worked too. So, crisis averted before 11. Brunch, anyone? Glumshanks, where are you? It's nearly time for my presentation. Hey, 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 hold up. You call these donuts? Sir, please, just this once. Genevieve at the patisserie is capable of so much more. Now, these delights are Napoleons with a thin layer of ganache. Oh, yeah? Well, they look like earplugs to me. Chaos, are you down there? Indeed, I am, Mother. But you never come to my lair. To what do I owe the pleasure? This place is the exact opposite of pleasure. It still smells the same as it did when it was the castle's outhouse. <laughs> Good one, Mother. You're such a card. Do you see me laughing? Seriously, what do you think that is over there, a Ming vase? Now, I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to, so let me just say what I have to and... Actually, Mother, you are the reason I'm putting together this little presentation. I want to show you my new scheme to destroy the Skylanders. Behold! Wait, 
What's happening? Why isn't my astral projection power working? <gasps> it's malfunctioning! What's not working? I copied a map to the core of light that I found locked away at Skylander's Academy, but now it won't project out! Why isn't my head working? A question I've asked myself since you were a small boy. What was that, ah! Shanks? Nothing, sir, but uh, I would like to say for the record that I did warn you that continuing to splash around in the bath like a toddler could short out your head's projection power, and it looks like, yet again, I was right. Oh, uh, listen, you can get back to your dumb ideas. It will never work just as soon as you get a real job and start paying rent. Like today. Or I'm kicking you out. Yeah, that's what I came down here to tell you. Have a great day. But, but, mother, I can't get a job. I need to dedicate all of my time and energy into getting that map and unleashing eternal darkness across the Skylands. Unleashing eternal darkness doesn't pay the rent, and neither have you since I let you start living here in the guest castle. Now let go of my robe! And you, come with me. I got bidding piling up, and you're the troll to do it. Don't worry, Glummy. I'll fix this as soon as I can so I can get back to destroying the Skylanders and harassing you. Oh, uh, no rush, sir. I'll find a way to survive in your absence. Somehow. So, Jetpack was being a little tough on you today, huh? I'm sure it's just that there's a lot he wants to teach us about being Skylanders, and Jetpack's got his way of doing that. The important thing is... I saved the world today. Uh, you unclogged a pipe, dude. <laughs> you say potato, I say you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure JV will relax once he sees my way of doing things can be effective too. What are you doing here? Hold on, did I just conjure you from thin air just by thinking about you? Negativo, rookie. I'm here because you went rogue on that pipe today. Your rebellious, impulsive nature needs to be tamed, and I'm just the bird to do it. Sure, yeah, great, good. <clears throat> what, do you, what do you got there? That's, that's not a suitcase, is it? Please don't say it's it. It's a suitcase, and I'm moving in until we get you straightened out. So, where do I sleep? Roomy? Uh, that's my room there. This is Eruptor's room. And here's the bathroom, obviously. Oh, there it is. And over there is Spyro's room. Spyro's room, eh? Well, let's get a good look at that, shall we? Whoa, whoa! Time out. You can't just barge into my room. Of course I can barge in here. I'm one of the senior members of this team, which means I can do random spot checks of a junior member's room to make sure it's in tip-top shape at any time I want. Like right now. And what a dump this is. Why, thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What did you say, dump? I call them like I see them, Spyro. No wonder you don't play by the rules. You're disorganized. What? Disorganized? My, my room is perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah? What about this? My, my bed? What about it? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow what? Horrible box springs. Significant sag. Sag equals poor spinal alignment. Poor alignment equals a poor attitude. A poor attitude equals poor Skylandering. And this, video games, these things make you lazy. Not the Skylander way. Actually, sir, multiple studies have confirmed that playing video games improves hand-eye coordination, promotes goal setting, and helps yeah. develop... Ah! Uh, well, now that we've assessed your personal space, let's go down to the kitchen and criticize your awful eating habits. Hello, Skylines Employment Agency. Hey, uh, how far back did you list your experience on your application? 300 years? Four? KUs. It's chaos. And that is I. Great. Yeah, I see you have listed under skills that you have an advanced knowledge of plotting and scheming, and you also work part-time at a movie theater. For pocket money, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah. A and since then? Oh, I've stayed plenty busy trying to annihilate all Skylanders. Mm-hmm, and where do you see yourself in five years? Ruling the Skylands as Supreme Overlord of Darkness and destroying anyone who gets in my way. Mm-hmm, right. Ruling and destroying. Uh, Mr. Chaos, I think I have the perfect position for you. Congratulations. You're the new corporate mascot of Uncle Merle's Lizard Gizzards. Now here's your arrow. I'll be back to check on you in 12 hours so you can take your legally required 10 minute break. Hello, I'm a gizzard. Eat me. Whoa, the rhythmic rotation of the flipping arrow has me hypnotized beyond the capacity for independent thought. Really? Well, then, go eat a gizzard or something. I would like a gizzard. I would like a whole bucket of gizzards. Then get out of here. Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry, Mr. Uh, uh, 
What are you exactly, some kind of discarded organ meat? Like a spleen or something? It's me, Glamshanks. I'm dressed as a gizzard. This is my new job. It's horrible. As the Uncle Merle Lizard Gizzard. Bravo, sir. Now that's the way to expand your culinary horizons. You know, offal has been used for hundreds of years in peasant food. Why are you calling, you idiot? Oh, ha, ha. Uh, just checking, sir, but well, what time do you think you'll be coming home? I have no idea. Why? Oh, it's just that things are so horrible back here. Truly demeaning. Your mother is such a monster. No, Glummy. Be strong. Just try and go to the happy place in your mind. You know, your memories of all the fun we have together. Like when you clipped my toenails. And I'll be back as soon as I can. Looks like we have a few more hours to catch up, ma'am. Delightful. So tell me more about your days in the theater before we met. Ah, yes. Well, the stage truly was my first love. But then I found myself in a rut doing a lot of outdoor community productions. So much Shakespeare. Roger kept asking me to play Falstaff over and over again. Hang on. If Glumshanks couldn't recognize me in this getup, that means no one else will either. And that gives me a brilliantly evil idea. So you haven't seen Spyro lately either? Not since Jetvac made him run 20 miles to sweat out his rebellious toxins. Guys, guys, I'm down here. Spyro, what are you doing? Hiding from that drill sergeant Jetvac. He's driving me crazy. He won't give me any personal space. So the plan is you're going to live in the sewer forever. Well, I was just going to hide in the sewer until Jetvac retired, but I think I like your idea better. Seriously, how old do you guys think he is, huh? He seems elderly, right? I overheard him say whippersnapper, non-ironically. Skylanders, unite! Falling forest is on fire! Hurry! You heard the head. Let's go! All right. We need to act fast. Awesome. What's the plan, JV? First thing we have to do, read our vehicle instruction manuals. I am... Jetpack, shouldn't we just wing it so we can save the falling force before it burns down? Winging it is not the Skylander way. Knowing exactly what to do is. And that starts with being able to fully operate our superchargers. <clears throat> Page one. You are now the owner of a supercharger. Yes, my favorite stations are preset. Bluetooth not paired? Why is this so hard every single time? And done! All right, Skylanders, let's go and save this. By Jove. Fellas, where's the fire? Oh, right, yes, of course, in the forest. Spyro, why are you stopping? We need to get to the falling forest. Dude, this is the falling forest, but it's not on fire. Yeah, because we put it out. Oh, you guys were taking so long to get here that the trolls who live in the forest called for backup. Bingo! And far be it from us to do the job for you, but, well, someone had to. Our team for the win! <laughs> so, how'd you get held up? Fight with chaos on the way here? Go down with the Doom Raiders? Sneak attack on the Academy? <laughs> Have you guys ever read one of these things? Such a wealth of knowledge and entertainment. <laughs> Am I right? So, Jetvac, what happened at the Falling Forest today? Turns out nothing. Per your request, it was saved from burning to the ground by Kaboom and Snapshot. Right. And why was it that they had to do the job of the core Skylander team? We got there as fast as the superchargers could go, Eon. It took you three hours to get there, which I heard is also how long it took you to read your vehicle's operation manual. Did it? Huh. Didn't feel that long. It was a real page turner. All righty then. Now back to the task at hand. Lunch. Do I start with the business end of the gizzard and work my way out to the crust, or go crust first, then to the gooey, unidentifiable middle? You need a plan to eat, Jetvac? Hold that thought, Hugo. Be right with you after I figure out how to properly gobble this thing down. Don't worry, it'll come to me. Hey! Didn't see that coming, did you? And now I have your food. You know why? Because I didn't plan it. I just did it. What are you getting at, sir? I was successful because I acted on my impulse which is what certain other members of this team do on occasion with success. Maybe if you had acted first instead of always being so regimented, I wouldn't be stuck explaining why the Skylanders almost failed to do their job. <sighs> You're right, Eon. 
Guess I've been riding Spyro's tail pretty hard. A true Skylander trusts their instincts as much as their training, Jetvac. Spyro does this very well. Give him a chance to show you. You and the team will be better off for it. I'm going to find him and apologize for the way I've been acting. And now I'm going to trust my gut instinct and leave this place and never return. See you back at the Academy, Hugo. Hello, Master Eon's assistant. Enjoying your gizzard? Well, I was just about to dig in, so... Nobody cares. Beat this. Whoa. Cool arrow. Now I want to giz it. I know where you can have all the gizzards you can choke down. Where? Inside the double secret relics vault at the Grand Library. We should totally go there right now, because I need to get back inside that room and get my hands on the map to the core of light. Right. That sounds like a swell idea. Let's go there now. Excellent. After you. Hey, Spyro. What are you up to then? Oh, just sitting here and reading about how to be a hero. Because there's one thing you taught me. I can't do anything right unless I do it according to some book first. It's just that your act first, think later nature makes me nervous. I've seen that kind of behavior burn way too many Skylanders. W what do you mean? Oh, I was just like you once, son. Talented, cocky, dumber than all my teammates. Wait, who said I'm dumb? I used to rush into action without a plan every time, too. I didn't worry about the rules. But then I lost something that meant the world to me. Your wings. Wings? What? No, no, no. I sacrificed those in an epic moment of heroism. There was a widow, an orphanage, a huge fire. They even wrote a song about it. Look, I just want you to know I went too far with the whole Skylander way thing. I was trying to protect you and the others from the same youthful mistakes I once made, but, well, I now know that I just need to let you be yourselves. So, Eon talked to you? Pretty much. Thanks, JV. I know I don't have a great track record of doing things the right way, <laughs> but I, I, I think you'll find that my way can be effective too. You ought to try it sometime. Maybe I will, but I probably won't. Should we hug or something? Don't make it weird, lad. That's it. Lizard gizzards galore. And the map to the core of light are just inside that bookshelf, dummy. Now get me in there. Sure. Yo, lizard gizzard guy. Yeah. Hey, gizzard man. Hook us up with some coupons, huh? Guess he didn't realize there were Skylanders here. Honest mistake. Well... Not that honest, since you are inside Skylander Academy. <laughs> Not sure who you thought would be here, but anywho, you can totally make up for it by just giving us, the Skylanders, free stuff. Come on. Also, if you need a face for endorsements, look no further. Yes, no, sorry, fresh out of coupons. Next time, now off you go. Okay, fine, but before we leave you totally alone with Hypnotized Hugo so you can go into the relics room and do whatever you want, do the lizard gizzard dance, huh? Yeah, do it! Sorry, I, 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 my knee is acting up. Old musical theater injury, you see? Five, six, seven, eight, ow! Oh, come on, just do the one move. Yeah, the move you made famous. Do, do it. it, do yeah. it, do it. Do it in your cram holes. I am not doing the stupid lizard gizzard dance, and I want the map to the core of light. Chaos? Would you believe no? Oh, wow. Did you seriously think that Master Eon was going to leave that map inside the relics room after you found it in there? It, it made sense in my head, but now that I'm hearing the words out loud, gotta go! Ah! Whoa, JV, did you just trip chaos without planning it? I, I think I did. That felt good, right? Now, how should we handle this trespassing twerp? Don't think, just do. And do it fast. There's worms on your breath. Three. Why, you? <laughs> Congrats, guys. You worked out your issues and defeated chaos. Yep, we made real progress today. And I even followed every order Jetvac gave during the fight. And I made a few impulsive moves of my own. <laughs> Remember when I kicked? Chaos? Instead of punching him? Oh, yeah, that was... You, you really went off script there. So what happened to Chaos? Unfortunately, he was able to get away after bombarding us with the lizard gizzards he was carrying around inside his costume. Ew! He was carting around lizard guts. Weaponized lizard guts, pal. Oh, gizzards to the face. Some in the eyes, a little gut in our mouths. I may never get that smell out of my nostrils. Well, lad, onward we go. Since I don't need to ride your rear anymore about doing things the Skylander way, I should probably move out. You know what, though? You've already built your nest in the attic. Why, why didn't you just stay? Right, guys? Yeah, sounds great. We have an attic? What up, dudes? Uh, Professor Pop, 
Have you been in the basement this whole time? Duh! That's where my laboratory is, and my bed, and all my other stuff. How long have you been squatting, uh, living in the basement? I don't know. What year is it again? Anyway, later! <laughs> ah, I never expected that. After your Sicilian opening, well played, madame. Mother! He's back. Quick, sit on me. Mother, I did what you asked. I got a real job. I worked all day and I got pummeled instead of a paycheck. Now I hope you're satisfied. You got beat up while wearing that? Yep, totally satisfied. Does this mean I can stay here in the guest castle? I just wanted you to get out of the house for one day instead of wasting your time on ridiculous plots to defeat the Skylanders. Be a productive member of society instead of a guy who basically still lives at home in his mom's basement. Well, Mother, when you put it like that, it's way more fun hanging out here and plotting evil. So I choose this. Oh, of course you do. At least I tried. You can have your troll back now, too. Oh, and Falstaff? That requires about as much dramatic range as a potted plant. What? You're too much of a wimp to take on Richard III? Man up! So she was mocking your theater days again, huh, Glummy? Ah, never, never gets old for her, sir. You poor troll. Uh. I know just the thing to take away the sting of a day spent with Mother. I'll get the nail filing clippers, okay? Come along, Glummy. Great. Together now.